So I'm Dr. Daniel Bachelor. I'm uh, one of the department heads here at Florida Institute of Technology. I'm an astrophysicist and one of the exciting projects that we're working on right now is trying to understand how uh, future generations of humans may be able to survive uh, on a uh, permanent colony on, on the surface of Mars. And so what we have uh, going on right now is a lot of research to find uh, materials on Earth that are very similar to the materials we know to be on Mars. And so the uh, surface of Mars is covered with a, uh, a selection of minerals and uh, elements uh, that we do know uh, are here on Earth. Mars is a planet that was formed around our Sun at around about the same time as Earth from the same stuff, so we do expect there to be the same materials that we find on Earth on Mars. Um, but Mars is very difficult and expensive to get to and so what we want to do is find those materials that are similar on Earth so that we can carry out tests here on Earth uh, about how that material will behave once we get to the surface of Mars. Now there are a couple of things that we uh, need to understand. First is uh, whether or not this material is going to be useful for growing food. Uh, in much the same way that we use soil here on Earth. And we have a selection of materials, uh, as you can probably see, they're, they're all kind of red in color uh, from various places around, around the world. We have one here that's actually made in the lab uh, from a recipe that we know from the Curiosity rover on Mars. We have some here from South America in the Andes and the Atacama deserts. And then we have some here from the Mojave Desert. Uh, and then we also have some um, from Arizona and then um, more from Mojave, and then I think somewhere, yes, here we go, here we have one from Hawaii as well. Uh, so these are all of the samples that we've gathered so far. The thing we'd like to do is actually expand this database that we have here to include uh, areas on the Earth that we've not yet received samples from. Uh, and those include places like Australia, uh, the, the, the Gobi Desert, and uh, the, uh, the, the Namibia Desert as well. These are places that are very similar, um, we think, to the surface of Mars, where you have a large iron uh, content uh, in, the, in the soil. So if you'd like to help out uh, with what we're trying to achieve here, uh, making a, a, a really comprehensive database on places on Earth, uh, that are like the Martian environment. What, we, what we've got here is the opportunity for you to get involved um, with collecting these samples. So if you think that you're uh, in an area that's uh, like the Mars environment, maybe you live there, maybe you're, the, on there, uh, you're there on vacation, uh, send us a, a picture, um, tweet it to us at Florida Tech, and then put the hashtag Mars in there. We'll take a look at the picture, and if we think that you're in a, a Martian-like environment, we'll make sure that you get one of these uh, sampling tubes sent to you uh, with instructions on how to collect the sample and return it to us here at Florida Tech. We'll then add it to our database, do the analysis, and you could end up actually as an author on a peer-reviewed paper that would go into a journal about our mission to get to Mars.